Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a bottleneck slide for playing slide guitar. First thing you got to do is gather your materials and get some things ready. We're going to be using a, a bottle of Verdejo wine. You can also use Sky Vodka, but I can't stand vodka, so, and I can't stand to throw away good liquor either, so. First thing you do once you get your bottle is, you got to empty it, because a bottle full of wine doesn't make a good bottleneck slide. <clears throat> this might take a second, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Once you get your bottle, <sighs> empty, then you want to start gathering your other materials and getting things set up. What you're going to need is a couple of pans, not too big something that you can put water in and pour it out of. Now, take one of your pans, fill it full of water. Let's turn on your stove. Set the pan there to boil. Now your other pan Go over here to your freezer. Do a little, de do a little defrosting. It'll melt. Don't worry about it being on the floor. Take some salt. Put it in there with your ice. I feel that's full of water. something. Push up that ice good. Stir it around a little bit. Set it to the side. Now while your water's getting hot and cold, and then you go gather up your other tools. The other tools you're going to need is the everyday old hacksaw and a file. What you're going to do is take your hacksaw and your bottle, put the blade right up close to where the neck joins the bottle, and you're going to start making a score. There it is. You see, it doesn't have to be much of a score. One trick you can use that helps is when you're cutting on it, rather than trying to cut it straight, angle the hacksaw over so that you're using the very edges of the teeth that tend to bite into the glass just a little bit better. Now 
Now, let's get that scored initially with your hacksaw. Take your file, the edge of it, put it right in there, and work it just a little bit more. The edge of that file will dig in and cut the glass and smooth it just a little more than the hacksaw will. You don't have to go crazy with it. You just want to get a weak spot in the bottle. There. That's a reasonably good score. Again, it doesn't have to be terribly deep. You just want to create a weak spot in the bottle. And hopefully by the time you got this done, your cold water's cold and your hot water's hot. Very hot. Now that water is not hot enough. It's got to be ripping, boiling good. So maybe when you empty your wine bottle, rather than drinking it all at once, you could uh, put half of it in a glass so you could enjoy the rest of your wine or whatever while your, your water is boiling. There. Nice hot boiling water. You want to leave your stove on. And we move over here to the sink. Take your boiling, take your boiling water, your bottle, you hold it on the slide end on the neck. You don't want to heat the neck, you want to heat the bottle. So that's what we're going to do with this boiling water. We'll pour it more or less right on to where you scored the bottle. Don't worry if you get any on your fingers. The wine will take care of that for you. Put the hot water back on the stove to keep it hot. Now you take the cold water, pour it off. And my bottle's cracking, but it's not separating. So, grab us some more hot water. Repeat the process. Heat that sucker up. And there you go. Didn't quite break on the whole score, but that's just a minor detail. Alright. Scored it just a little more. Back in the hot water it goes. Just on the very end, around the score where you want it to break. Put the hot water back on the stove, back in the cold. Okay, it's gotten cold, back in the hot, back in the cold. Mm. There we go. So there you have it. Now, you let your glass temperature stabilize and repeat the process if you want to cut the very end of it off. And that tends to work off out pretty good. 
it's also, even though this looks fairly jagged and rough, like it could cut you, it's, it's, it's not sharp. You could put that right on your finger and use it just, just fine. Like I said, it's not sharp, you could... Alright, I know I said it wasn't sharp. When you, uh, when you do this, you might want to... I'll take a file and just knock a little bit of the edge off of that before you use it. A little bit of sandpaper do the same trick. And of course, if you want to cut the end off, you probably want to do the same. Of course, it's not going to bother you too much if you crack or drain the bottle. So anyhow, that's how to make a slide, a bottleneck slide for uh, playing your guitar. Now, I would demonstrate how this works for you, but that takes out, and I, I don't have any of that. So anyway, this is my contribution. So I hope you've learned something valuable today and go make some beautiful slides and beautiful music.